recently purchased these two games on Mercari um, for a total of $25. This game goes for Amazon, goes on Amazon for like $36 before fees, merchant fulfilled. Uh, this game, I didn't even, I don't even remember what it goes for on Amazon, but I know it's more than that. And on eBay, it's going for about 40 in used uh, good condition. Now, I knew the case was a little messed up, obviously, from the photos. Um, but I trusted the, the seller. Um, and their ad said, in great condition, works great. You know, this in good condition, all that. And today, I got the package. And look at that gigantic ring <laughs> on there. Um, now, I'm not sharing with this sharing this with you to complain um this one's decent uh, there are scratches on it but still very misleading to say great condition you can't tell um this is there's a, few, there's a couple little ones you might be able to see but um i want to keep this one um so i guess what i'm trying to tell you is if you ever have an issue with a, a purchase on mercari make sure you request the uh refund first i i i don't even know if this is a thing on ebay but i happen to um give a rating to the seller first on Mercari and then it immediately closes the transaction to where I can't request a refund um and they only give you like a three-day window to rate the person so I guess out of my just bitter frustration that somebody could mislead me that badly um I gave them a one-star review and said order the uh, listing was completely misleading um and that you know it was ridiculous and uh, then I messaged them, and then I realized I couldn't do a refund. I looked at Mercari's, like, terms of service um, and realized that was the case after the fact. So hopefully if hopefully you don't have to go through this situation, but if you ever do, make sure you request the refund first um, before you go ahead and give them a bad rating because, unfortunately, uh, now I have to go through support. It's not the end of the world. It was a small purchase of uh, 25 bucks, But still, I mean, I was looking to flip this. Um, I... Hope, and, you know, I'm requesting that they allow me to keep the full amount because the seller is saying I should only get half because I want to keep this game. But I was, you know, incredibly misled. I understand that they'll probably rule in their favor for that. But that sort of uh, misleading listing is uh, really damaging to our community as buyers and sellers and traders and collectors. Um, and, you know, let's just do our best to be as descriptive as possible. And I even made a an error at that, not nowhere near at that level, but recently on Amazon, I listed a Resident Evil GameCube game. And it must have been a collector or somebody trying to give this away as like a, a gift, as if it was a brand new game. It wasn't. It was a used game. I put it in good condition in my listing. And the buyer claimed that there were tremendous amounts of key scratches like car keys on the back of the game the discs the discs were in great condition but apparently i guess there were car key scratches on the back of the game uh i don't recall that um but some people get really dicey now obviously i could be getting scammed I may get sent back a Resident Evil uh, for GameCube with two really scratched up discs. The person could be lying. I mean, that's just the risk you take when you buy and sell items online. And it just doesn't happen often enough to be like panicky about it. It is frustrating. It does happen from time to time. You're going to get returns. I mean, everybody gets their returns in retail. You know, returns are inevitable. And sometimes that has nothing to do with your product. In that situation with myself, I, from now on, and I usually do, I must have just been in a rush, will list every ounce of information I can, um, especially, you know, put pictures up. But I guess it was just not something I noticed or maybe I did and I just forgot to write it down. Because I'll leave, I'll, I'll frequently write or always write, you know, if it's a pre-owned game, I'll write, you know, pre-owned stickers on game um disc in certain condition original artwork all this stuff i'll put as many details as i can so i just want to give you that little story about mercari in that situation if you ever do have a problem uh like i said just make sure that you go on ahead and uh request the refund first um which probably seems now uh 
like common sense to me, but I guess when I was in the heat of the moment and really frustrated and felt completely misled, um, I didn't do that <laughs> and I raided them. Um, and actually I even think Mercari gives you, uh, the, the prompt that once you give them a rating, um, that you the transaction is closed and i even saw that i guess i just assumed that the disc would still work unfortunately when i popped that disc in it didn't work because i just couldn't believe that someone would be that misleading call me stupid and naive and you would be right because uh sometimes i can be a little too trusting of people and uh it's gotten me burned in the past uh in life in general and now a little bit here in business and uh, you know you do have to toughen up a little bit, and um, it's definitely a learning experience for me, and I wanted to share it with you. Not everything is going to be perfect, smooth sailing, sunshine, rainbows, and roses, um, so just keep your eyes out for that. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. It is Matt. It is May 6th, and... Quick update on the Mercari situation. They did not uh, side in my favor. So definitely a lesson learned there on my end. And just a reminder to you, if you do have an issue with a purchase you made on Mercari, make sure you do not rate the seller before uh, trying to submit for a refund. Um, the seller's listing was, like I said in the last video, the seller's listing was completely misleading and... Um, the condition did not match whatsoever the description of, sorry, my glare here is bad. The condition did not match the description whatsoever. Um, and they got away with it. They said very good condition. The disc had massive rings on it. Uh, it was a really good game. I was excited to flip. And now I'm going to have to figure out a way to maybe resurface it or just take the loss on it. Um, but, you know, just be careful and definitely a mistake on my part. Take full responsibility. But if you didn't know that, um, Makari will remind you when you go to do it. But I guess I didn't realize it was that final and that definite. Um, not upset with them because they did give me that heads up when I went to rate the per person. Um, and I guess I trusted the buyer because they said the disc still works and it didn't. Um, but definitely uh consider before uh making sure you rate uh a seller